Um, there was a big going away bash for, uh, for Max last night, and um, it was really fun. And I just got the photos back. And yeah, this is, this is, uh, I didn't even know there are these places you can go. There's like a booth and it takes an hour. I had no idea, you know, but so uh, we just got these back and I thought I could just look at these myself, but instead we're a family here. You're part of that family. What if I shared them all with you? Do you want to see these photos? Well, tough, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, uh, here's, uh, here's the first picture, and this, this is a good picture. Uh, our announcer, Joel and I, we really wanted to throw a going away party for Max, but we found out that Max was already having a private party just for himself. <laughs> yeah, all by himself, that's his apartment. Uh, I guess his wife and kids had already said goodbye to him. And, uh, you know, so he was dealing with that. So anyway, uh, it's fake. Anyway, anyway, uh, Max baked himself a cake, made himself a card, and then got himself a special going away lap dance. That's always a nice thing to do. Yeah, it's just nice when people do that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just then is when Joel and I arrived to surprise him. That's our announcer, Joel Goddard. Uh, Max told us to get the hell out of his apartment. <laughs> but he changed his mind when we told him we brought going away presents. I gave Max something he'd need for all the concerts. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It's, it's a, apparently it's a generic brand. Uh, <laughs> get larger volume that way. And, uh, Joel Goddard gave him something for after the concert. <laughs> Yeah. He... Max reminded Joel of his strict no condom policy. <laughs> and, uh... Always good to have that sign hanging up on the wall. Now, a Max asked me who'd be filling in for him on our show. So I showed Max his replacement. <laughs> yeah. His name is, uh... Yeah. Max didn't think it was funny. I told him I was only joking. Then I brought out his real replacement. Joel then offered to house it for Max while he was away. Max said, that's nice of you, Joel, but what about your house? Joel said he brought his house with him. Well, anyway, then it was time to have fun. We all drank a toast to Max's big tour. <laughs> then we drank a toast to touring in general. <laughs> then we drank to drinking in general. <laughs> My shirt tends to do that when I drink. <laughs> Anyways, you can tell I got pretty drunk. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Just then, there was a knock at the door. <laughs> I'm telling you, those digital cameras get everything, yeah. It's really good. Uh, yeah, there was a knock at the door. It was Max's good buddy, Bruce Springsteen. Joel got all excited and said, I can't believe Bruce Hornsby is here. I yelled at Joel, you idiot, this is Bruce Springsteen, the guy who wrote Jesse's Girl. <laughs> That's when Bruce shattered my teeth and punched Joel's face off. <laughs> Bruce was so mad he even fired Max from the big tour. Oh. Without even looking at him. <laughs> Yeah. To not even look at you is yeah. not right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Max 
Max was, Max was upset, but he pretended he preferred working for me anyway. And then started weeping. Well, Bruce left. But luckily, another big rock star came by wanting Max to go on tour with him, John Tesh. Max told John Tesh his music was new age garbage. And John Tesh agreed with him. But Max still didn't want to go on tour with him. Tesh then revealed he's an alien and offered Max a ride in his spaceship. So it all worked out just fine. Max had a new tour, I had a new monkey drummer, and Joel just smiled like a lunatic. I miss you, Max. It was a good time. A good time. Those are some good pictures. Yeah. All right, everybody, we'll, uh... We'll take a look.